Well, it's about that time of year again where we go through my loadouts of 2021 and uh, see how they change from last year. Probably not a lot, to be honest. I find these loadouts are pretty much how I want them. So, but, you know, there, there will be some changes, so we're just going to jump into it. Start with Scout, obviously. And this is my main loadout that I'm rocking. I decided to get rid of the Dino hoodie for these lovely 3D shades, which I think are a very cool cosmetic and should be all class, realistically. Um, but probably not going to happen, so I'm just going to wear them on Scout. Uh, yep, we're still using the Boston Boomstick and the Kappa and the Rap Assassin. Fuel Injector, Wipeout Wraps and Series Cup Shades are what I'm rocking. I do feel it's a bit of an odd looking loadout. I might change the stereoscopic shades. Um, if we get some dope cosmetics next year, then they will, probably will be changed. But this is my main scout loadout. And then for the secondary scout loadout, this hasn't changed at all. This is exactly the same as it was last year. I just think this is a cool loadout cosmetic combo. And yeah, I'm just going to keep it as it is. Uh, this loadout, this loadout changes quite a bit. I cannot remember what it was last year, but I definitely think it's changed. And this is what we're rocking. I don't use this loadout as much, but, you know, it's, it's fun if you want to mess around with some different weapons and stuff. And this is my MVM loadout, which again, has not changed apart from the gun I'm using. I've actually got a skinned soda popper now. I'm trying to get Night Owl Mark II versions of all the weapons I use in MVM, um, just because I think they look cool. That's, that's it really, and they're not very expensive, so that's a bonus. Alright, now moving on to Soldier, which is my second most played class. Um, you could say I'm a bit of a soldier main. Uh, but I can't mark it, God. Uh, but this is what we're rocking. It has changed since last year because I got the Thousand Yard Stare. Unusual. It was already named when I got it. So I'm, I'm sure, yeah, it's, a, it's an alright name. Uh, what effect is this? It's the stunning effect, which I think is very cool and just looks quite funny with the Thousand Yard Stare. Um, still rocking the Cuban Bristol Crisis and the Cold Snap Coat, which I unboxed. Very pog. It's got that blue text, which just makes it mwah. Um, and then we've got, obviously, my bot killer rocket launcher, slowly creeping up on kills. Obviously, the festivized shotgun, which I also unboxed. Hmm. Don't need to flex. Um, and yeah, just the escape plan because my favourite soldier melee. Uh, similar tune with this loadout. It hasn't changed much since last year. This is my second uh, most played soldier loadout. I'd love to get a strange sand cannon. Um, I'm not sure how much they are. Probably very expensive. Let me have a look. Yeah, there. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Angel with a shotgun and a vintage escape plan on this one. Jeez. The nuke, Cuban Bristol Crisis, and the classified coif. He just looks like, you know, yeah, just like a like a dude. Like a, He could probably be a bodyguard. Like, if this was coloured black, he might like some sort of bodyguard. Um, and then we've got my Road to Hell Zone loadout, which changes a lot with the rocket launcher. I'm trying to get to Hell Zone. A gift from Grizzly Berry. Um, shotgun again, and the escape plan. Um, and then this is the MVM loadout. It's not changed that much. Um, apart from the Night Owl black box, as I mentioned earlier, trying to get them all Night Owl. Yeah, I don't think he's changed that much. Uh, onto Pyro, which is my main, and this is my main loadout. He's so beautiful. Look at him. What a beautiful guy. This has changed not that much, actually. Um, the biggest change, I'm sure you can see, is the premium awesome machine itself. Yes, I finally got an Australian flamethrower this year. Oh, yeah, and we got a new Handyman's Handle, I believe. I don't know if I had this last year, but it's purple energy, best effect, and then the binoculars and the dead of night, lovely stuff. Um, this is the the flog loadout, I guess we could say. I just think he looks pretty funny. I think this cosmetic combination of the binoculars and the gnome dome is hilarious, so I'm gonna keep using it. And then we've got my secondary pyro loadout. I don't believe this has changed much from last year. I'm very happy with his look, and I'm happy to keep it like that. And then this is the MVM looking loadout. Um, I, it's either the Frigistinator or it's the Nostromo Napalmer, depending on what the wave is and if I'm playing Pyro to deal with tanks or just playing Pyro. The Gas Passer, obviously, some people love it, some people hate it. And the Power Jack, just that speed. Yeah, this one hasn't changed at all. I'm very happy with how this looks. Yeah, I can't see it changing at all. And now we move on to Demo Man. This is a loadout for a video that I've mean, been meaning to record for a long, long time and I just haven't recorded it yet. Um, so I don't know when I'll record that. And then we've got the Demo Ham. Very, very cool, funny boy loadout. With the duck lock and load. And obviously the genuine professional killstreak ham. But what a, what a lovely, lovely ham that is. 
We've got the Yule Hog, the Man of the Seven Seas, which is a lovely demo coat. End of the line had some sick cosmetics, man. Wow. And then the Macho Man, just because I think they're cool. And this is my main demo loadout right now. Sometimes I use the Iron Bomber, um, but for now we're sticking with the Grenade Launcher. We've got the Sophisticated Smoker, very cool demo cosmetic with the Summer Shades. I think they look quite dope. I think they work quite well. And then the Cool Breeze, because it's, it's, it's a nice cosmetic. I'm rocking the unusual Horseless Headless Horseman's Head Taker. Because what a cool weapon that is. And this is the MVM loadout. I'm not going to go um, Night Owl Mark II for this because I have the Butcher Bird. Which is just a sick skin and I got it field tested. But it barely looks it, honestly. It is such a sick skin. Um, I'm very happy with it. So I'm going to keep it. With the Double Dog Dead, Demo Pants, the Hurt Locker and the Blast Defense. This has not changed from last year at all. That's the, I feel like that's the thing with most MVM loadouts. They're just not going to change because I'm happy with them. This one has changed quite a bit mainly the Mushanka which I unboxed in my last video we've got obviously Mr. Cuddles strange festivized minimal wear lovely minigun skin look at it it's a cute little kitty angel of the shotgun of course and the fists of steel to just take less ranged damage that's it really the hunt heavy and the jungle booty paired with the strange Mushanka it is a very strange loadout not sure about the jungle booty they may get changed but for now <laughs> this is what we're rocking. And this is my second heavy loadout. We've got the gold bot killer minigun, Mark II. The Soviet Seattle gun, of course. And the frying pan. Because, I mean, funny frying pan man. Um, and then we've moved my my heavy unusual, my first ever unusual, over to this loadout. Because I just can't not use it. It's got, it's got too many memories associated with it for me to get rid of it. So I'm sticking on this loadout, which I occasionally hop on. We got the Black Bash 2021 medal because big up the Black Boys, and then we got the Weight Room Warmer just because it's a nice little heavy cosmetic, and I think this this set looks pretty cool. He could be like a guy going to do some boxing training with a frying pan, <laughs> and then we have the the classic one key challenge skin. You know, Donald Trump make two fork great again, lovely stuff. And then this, of course, is the MVM loader. I don't think this has changed a lot from last year. I think this has pretty much all stayed the same apart from obviously the Night Owl Mark II minigun. You know, I'm trying to get all my weapons to have that skin. I think this hasn't changed at all because he looks pretty, he looks dope. He looks like a strong man ready to kill some robots. I've probably played more heavy in MVM than I have any other class this year, I think. Because I just enjoy heavy MVM. You can get like 200k damage. It's sick. And we move on to the engineer with my new timeless topper. You may remember last year, I think, I had the Miami Knights Timeless Topper. Well, now we have Starstorm Insomnia. A, a much better effect, in my opinion. One, one of my favourites. We're rocking the uh, Frontier Justice, which I haven't used. I haven't used this loadout in a hot minute, which is why there aren't many kills on the uh, Frontier Justice. But I think it looks pretty cool. With the Kappa and the Gunslinger, of course. Gunslinger, Frontier Justice combo. Pog. Then we have the Trash Toter, because it looks cool. With my Timeless Topper and the Cute Suit. Just a funky guy. And then we have this loadout. I haven't used it that much. We got the shotgun, of course. We got the pistol and the bot killer wrench. Yeah, he's just like a beer belly smoker don. I don't know. With the idea tube. I just think it looks cool, really. <laughs> That's all I can say about that loadout. And this is my main engineer loadout. The timeless topper, the gold digger, and the dead of night. What a lovely looking loadout this is. With the shotgun, the capper, and the gunslinger. This is the loadout I'm, I mainly use if I'm popping off to play some engineer it will be this donning right here and finally the mvm loadout for engineer now this has changed since last year i know for years my engineer loadout has stayed the same but this year i decided to finally change it up change up his look so we have the night owl mark ii rescue rang ranger i was gonna say wrangler got the wrangler i think i have a festive one there we go and the jag of course i just, just like the jag really <laughs> but then we change up the cosmetics. We kept the Texas Tin Gallon. Because I like to have a Robo Hat for most of my MVM classes. Then we move to the Dogfighter and the Scotch Saver. To just change up his look a bit. And I think he looks very dope. Because I was using the Pip Boy. And while I do miss the Pip Boy's UI, um, I didn't want to give up a cosmetic slot for it. If it if it was like a an optional item that would just change like if I could wear it if it was a, 
if it was a PDA instead of a cosmetic, I think it'd be much better, personally. Um, but that's Engineer. And then we've got Medic, of course. You may be wondering, wow, where did the Australian minigun, Medigun come from? Well, if you follow me on Twitter, you'll see recently that I got an Australian Medigun drop. And as Australians go, this is my second Australian Medigun in a row, and they are big money balling. Um, so I'm probably going to sell this one. But for now, it's just resting on this loadout, because I don't really play Medic that much. Uh, we've got the Bloodsauger, the Medigun, of course, and the Ubersaw. I think this is a, co a cool-looking loadout. I think it looks very cool. Um, very militaristic, very very cool looking, personally. The Strange Coldfront Commander has no points because I mainly wear it for MVM, but I don't know, I might sell this. And then we've got my main medic loadout. This hasn't changed at all, I don't think, because we got the uh, festive Crusader's Crossbow, the somewhat threatening Specialized Killstreak Carbonator Bot Killer Medigun Mark 1. What a mouthful that is. And the Uncharitable Ubersaw. Rocking the Scourge of the Sky, the Blighted Beak, and the Vintage of Prussian Pickle Orb. Just a cool, like, World War One esque medic loadout. Very nice. Uh, I don't even know what this loadout is, to be honest with you. It's just there, really. And onto my MVM loadout. This might have changed since last year, I can't remember. But it's the same cosmetic set as my first loadout. Just with an Ironwood Mark II Crusader's Crossbow, which I need to turn into a Night Owl Mark II. The, the Crits Krieg and the Ubersaw, both vintage because it's just cool in it. On to Sniper, where some cosmetics have changed and some haven't. Um, we've got the Festive Huntsman, a weapon I've always wanted to own, and I finally do. We've got a Strange Jurati, because um, it's funny, <laughs> and the Trapman's Shiv because, you know, these two. Dangerous combo. Then we're rocking the Five Month Shadow, painted grey, because it gives this, like, cool little, cool little, like, gradient effect here with the Abbot Intellectual and the Chameleon because the Chameleon is very cool and funny and I love the Chameleon but would be open to changing it to a uh, croaking, croaking Hazard the Frog yes. Sniper Loader I don't really play Sniper that much um, but this is what I would usually go for with the, heat, the Hitman's Heatmaker, the Razorback and the Bushwhacker. I don't know why the Razorback doesn't show up in in my loadout. I, just don't, I don't know where it's gone um, but it is there. I just can't see it. And then the Saxon, the Matcha Man, and the Down Under Duster. This hasn't changed at all since last year. I'm very happy with this loadout. I can't see it changing anytime soon. Unless they bring out some sort of very funky sniper hat. But other than that, I, I can't see it changing. Uh, this loadout has changed a whole lot. Because um, I did this pretty recently. I bought a Starduster and a Yushanka. Um, but we've got the High Power Piss Injector. Lovely, sni lovely sniper rifle, one of my favourites. The Dratty again, and the Trapman Shiv again. This was originally the Piss Wizard loadout, and it still works as the Piss Wizard if I just put on the Wizard hat. Where is it? There we go, Piss, wizard, piss Wizard's back. Um, but for the purposes of this, this is a loadout we're rocking. I think he looks very cool. The Starduster, one of my favourite cosmetics. The invasion update had some Suik cosmetics, and this is one of my favourites. And obviously the final frontiersman, strange to just look, look extra cool. Big fan. And this is the MVM loadout. I don't think this has changed since last year. Um, but the Heatmaker, the Festive Dratty this time, and the ship again. Yeah, I'd never play Sniper on MVM, but I think this loadout looks pretty cool. He could be like a, like a, a sniper. <laughs> uh, maybe like an 80s Hitman, maybe, or an 80s uh, soldier. I think it's the I think it's the mustache which gives me the 80s vibes and and the cigarette list by and we have the observer yes I am keeping the observer meme alive um, and for the foreseeable future this will be one of my spy loadouts what a good meme that was and here we have my main spy loadout this hasn't changed at all from last year I don't think because I don't really feel the need to change this loadout I think it looks very cool all these cosmetics work well together. Um, yeah, that's it really. I just think he looks dope. He doesn't need to change. You're perfect. Don't change yourself. And then we have this loadout, which I don't think has changed either. Um, I don't really use this loadout, but it does look cool. Um, so maybe I can work out a set that would be fun to play with here as well. Um, but for now, I don't use it. He just looks cool. Don't think he's changed a lot from last year either. 
And the MVM loadout is uh, something, alright? <laughs> this is what I went with anyway. Um, I'd never play Spy MVM. I wouldn't know where to start. But I think the loadout looks pretty cool. Um, I didn't expect myself to be wearing the Dapper Disguise, to be honest with you. That probably will change if I can be bothered to change it. I don't play Spy in MVM. Why would I focus on his loadout? Um, but yeah, that was the wonderful 2021 loadout review for Team Fortress 2, what I'm rocking and what I'd be interested to see what's changed when I'm doing the edit and what changes between now and next year with what cosmetics we get. That's my TF2 backpack, my TF2 loadouts of this year. Hope you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, maybe comment what was your favourite of the loadouts, I'd be interested to hear what you guys like and what you don't. Uh, maybe tell me your favourite loadout of the year if you have one and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.